Three more elementary school principals at JCPS may be forced out of the schools. It comes as state audits report they are unfit to lead their schools and should relocate. They are not the first JCPS principals to be targeted by state education leaders. The night team's Tyler Emery explains which schools and what it means for them. Three JCPS principals don't have the capacity to function. That's what the reports from the Kentucky Department of Education say about three elementary school principals at struggling schools. The schools under review, Englehart Elementary, Trunnell Elementary, and Young Elementary. Their schools previously chosen for review after being identified as underperforming falling within the bottom 5% of schools in the state. In the reviews released today, the audit team recommends the principals of those three schools be removed and instead reassigned to similar roles elsewhere within the district. The report on all three schools says the principals don't have the ability to lead their schools to improvement. It cited reasons like lack of timeliness of decision making and ineffective leadership communication. Still unknown is exactly how the audit team decides if a principal is unfit to lead their school anymore and should be moved. JCPS spokesperson Mark Hebert today says it will now be up to JCPS superintendent Dr. Marty Polio to review the recommendations with those principals and make a decision on the next steps. Dr. Polio then has the final decision on whether or not to remove the principals at each elementary school. In January, the board released reports finding six other JCPS principals were also unfit to lead their schools to improvements. The audit team still needs to conduct reviews of 12 more underperforming JCPS schools, which will come later in the year, Doug. All right, Tyler, thank you.